Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Guru Tech Networking Training. So in this video, we're going to do wireless LAN controller configuration using the third method. So I've done two videos on the same wireless LAN controller where we had method one, method two. And today we're going to do the last and the best method, method three, which is uh, currently used in the market. So I plead with everyone who is watching this video. This is going to be a very long video because I would like to present it in a very slow manner that everyone grabs, grasps uh, every concept that I'm going to include in this video. So please be very patient in this video. And uh, if you're new to this channel, or even if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do us that favor. Hit on the subscribe button, uh, like this video, drop a comment below and share with others so that they can also benefit from this video. It's a really, uh, you will rarely find such videos on YouTube. More so, uh, the method three. You'll find it and you won't find it easily. Method three is one of the most widely used one, okay? And I would like to do it perfectly, okay? All right, so let's start. Wireless LAN controller. If you see this uh, topology here, I mean, if you see um, on my screen, you can see I have uh, at least four departments. And each department is in a separate VLAN and a separate network segment. In the previous methods, we never did this. All right, so meaning this is a very important video, how you can segment your wireless network. So in method three, actually we're going to segment our wireless network all right okay so let's start first i'll need a switch just use a normal switch that you normally choose yes that switch okay all right so after choosing a switch uh let me just put it somewhere here yep after choosing the switch now we go ahead to choose uh we need a router because we have multiple valence so we either use smart layer switch or we use the normal switch with the router. And in this case, allow me to use the router, okay? So I'll just uh, take uh, any router, 2911, and I'll put it there, good. All right, so the third thing that I need, I need a server, because this, these guys here, they need IP addresses. So we, we plug in a server there, maybe I take it there. So maybe let me just uh, drag this on up. Yes, somewhere there, yep. So I have a server. I have a router to do interval routing. I have a switch here, okay? Then now we go to uh, the Wii, I mean the wireless LAN controller. Just go to here and go to wireless devices. And in this case, guys, now it's different. We are going to choose the latest version of the wireless LAN controller. Remember, I said that this is the widely used method. And we're going to uh, configure, I mean, we're going to present it in a way that uh, it's uh, it's what is there in the market currently, okay? So we use the latest devices, okay? So just choose 3504 and put it here, right? Okay. So after choosing the latest um, wireless LAN controller, now we go and choose the access point. Also the access point, we're going to choose the latest. Choose this one, 3702, and put it at every department. All right, so we have selected all the required devices uh, in this topology. So what's remaining are just end devices. And for hand devices, I just include one wireless device per department just to demonstrate. So let's just use tablet, no problem with the tablet. Okay, so I have included um, all the devices required for this topology. And what I'm going to do is just to call a connect. So for connection, we use automatic, just use automatic. That's okay. And start from up going down. Okay, so as you can see, I have actually um, uh, connected the devices and also 
renamed the access point. I ensure you rename the access point because for us to easily identify them here, they should have a unique name, okay? Just ensure you rename them, okay? All right. Then there's something that I was forgetting. I will have a management uh, villain. I will have a management villain. So for that one, I will include something here. I will include a PC. I will include a PC here. Um, should I just do away with one department and place a PC? Yes, let me just do away with the... Uh, uh, sorry. Let me do away with the admin department and make it as the management villain. Okay? So just make it management villain. M MGT plus native. I'll, I'll make them... Uh, in this scenario, we need a native villain. So for that one, I'll just make management and native to be uh, the same thing. Well, I tried to do my research on how I can separate them, but uh, I was not achieving the desirable result. So and, and at this level, I will just need to combine them. And if I maybe in future I get an idea on how to do that, I'll record a video. But as per now, we are going to combine management and native villain. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, uh, these are management and the native villain. Okay. All right. So what I'll do actually is to uh, maybe let the management and native villain to be villain 50. Yes. Change it to 50 there. Yep. All right. So without any further ado, let's start configuration. What I'll need to reiterate all of the ports you see here will be trunk the ports that are connected to the APs that the port that connects to the wireless LAN controller and the port that connect to the router should always be trunk okay all right so that's the first thing that we're going to do any port that connect to AP or wireless LAN controller or the router will always be trunk. So let's just read them. FA0 slash 1 to uh, FA0 slash 6. So when I go to that switch, that's the first configuration that we need to do. Enable uh, config T, right? Then interface range FA0 slash 1 to 6. Okay. Switch mode, mode trunk. Okay. Okay. Then, because we add, because we add a native VLAN, we bind the native VLAN on those interfaces. Okay. So just say switch port. Native. Oh. Native. Sorry. Let me just query. So you just say switch port. A trunk. Native VLAN to be VLAN. 50 or oh, we've not created villain 50 right so we can just do it here but uh, I advise that we do villains first and that's why I normally like how uh, uh, to I let the steps but today I've forgotten to uh, I let the steps yeah so what should we do I, will, I, will, I always like to go the right way yep so let's create all the villains first uh, let's create VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 50. So VLAN, VLAN 10, we name it as IT. VLAN 20, uh, we name it as HR. Okay, so as you can see, we've uh, created all the VLANs and uh, given the appropriate names, okay? All right, so we can just go back to, on this range, on this interface. And uh, and uh, after going back there, now we can assign the native VLAN. Okay, switch port trunk, native switch port. Let me just start a fresh switch port mode trunk. Okay, then switch port trunk, native VLAN to be VLAN 50. Good, exit, endure right. So on this switch. We've created VLANs, right? 
VLAN, VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 50. And all of these ports here, they are trunks, and the native VLAN is VLAN 50. Very important. Very important in that case, right? Okay. So we, we are done here. We are done here. Okay. We are done on this switch. So we climb up on the router to do inter-VLAN routing. Okay. So this interface here, as you can see, it's gig. Uh, it's uh, actually gig. Gig zero one, gig zero one. So I just go to that switch, and we go to gig zero one and turn it on. Also gig zero zero, which is connected to the server on the other side. This one, ensure to turn it on. Yep. Then come come to command prompt and exit. Then we go to gig zero one. Gig zero one is the one that connects to our inside LAN, to our LAN, right? Okay. So, gig 01 and gig 00. So, I forgot to write network on this head. So, there we can maybe give a network, or maybe it has a network of 192.168. Maybe 1.0.24. That's okay. That's okay. Our main concern is uh, not how to do proper subnetting right now. I just want you to understand how to do the best method of wireless LAN controller configuration, right? Okay. Okay, so this is GIG00. Let's start with GIG00. Go to GIG00. And we assign that IP address. Dot one, dot one, okay? Separate mask. Mask comes on its own. That's okay, right? So we have assigned this interface one, dot one. Okay? Right, that's okay. Then now let's go to this interface to do intervalent routing. So the interface there is gig 0 slash 1. Okay. This interface. So let's start let's start with let's start with VLAN 10. Okay. So interface gig 0 slash 1 dot 10 for VLAN 10. Okay. Then encapsulation dot one q vlan 10 associated to vlan 10 okay then give it ip address so that this interface will be the default gateway of vlan 10 so the default gateway there will take the first available ip address which is one and two one six eight dot ten dot one that means submit mask of 255 255 dot 255 dot zero and you hit enter and because the server is here we want this server to act as our DCP server, okay? So we have to tell this sub and uh, forget to that whenever you receive any request for IP, forward that request to this guy here. So we just say IP helper address to be the IP address of this server. I've not configured it, but let's assume it's one ops. Let's just assume it's uh, where it is. Uh, we are here, yeah. Let us assume it was 192.168.1. Maybe 5. 5, 5 is okay here. Yeah. 5 is okay. That's okay. Yep. Exit. So we do the same for VLAN 20 and 30. But when we get to VLAN 50, I will include that something. So let's do VLAN 20 and 30 very, very fast. Then we reach to VLAN 50 and I discuss something also. Okay, so I've done for VLAN 10, 20, and 30. Ensure all your data is correct. If you miss something, you're going to miss a lot. So ensure you are very accurate. Ensure that uh, the encapsulation uh, went to VLAN 30, then the subnet of VLAN 30, but this one remains the same because our DCP server is only one, okay? All right, so I said that when we reach to VLAN 50, I will pause and we do it together slowly okay so i go to vlan 50 encapsulation i mean dot dot 50 okay for vlan 50 then we point to vlan 50 the way we were doing before okay good then we are sending it appear less the way we're just doing okay just 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 the way we're doing then we just give a 
uh, DCP relay. That's okay. Then the the final the final uh, command now. The final the final command is just this one. But we had something. So I could have done it before I did this. So let's just add it here. So the final command we just say encapsulation uh, dot one q fifty native because that's our native villain. So I could have done this. I could have done uh, actually this before adding the two, but no problem. As long as it's here, it will work. Okay. Exit and do right. So do show start. So when you go to the sub interfaces here, you will see they are here. The four, 10, 20, 30, and 50. But now the difference it comes in when villain 50 is encapsulated with a native villain, right? Okay, that's okay, that's all. That's all, I think that's all in the router. That's all we can do in the router. Then we go here to configure DSCP server. Click on the DSCP server, come to desktop, come to IP. Remember, here on the router, we indicated that the DSCP server should have IP address, address of 1.5. So, 192.168.1.5. Then, don't forget, don't forget, the get default gateway, the appearance of this guy here, okay? All right. The server, I just want the server to be the DCP server itself, okay? And then close. And just test if it can ping, if it can ping uh, dot one, which is it's this DCP, I mean default gateway, that's okay. All right. So let's proceed to configure DCP server. Click here and click on the services, come to DCP and turn it on. And under default server pool, change everything to zero zero and save and save. So, meaning this server pool cannot distribute any IP address. Okay, all right. So, we start creating our pools. Start by the with IT pool, just modify this one. Okay, and just modify you create by modifying the existing one. So, the default gateway of uh, uh, VLAN 10 or the IT pool you can remember it was uh, 10.1 so I just change this one 10.1 okay DNA server we said DNA server to remain our DCP server okay which is 1.5 okay then start start distributing distributing IP address from 1 and 2 dot 168.10.10 dot 10, dot 10, maybe mm -hmm. dot um, 11 is okay yeah from such that we reserve from 1 to 10 and the separate mask is class C. So we have no problem with that one. We have no problem with that one. So, oops, oh, sorry. Yep. And the maximum number of IP, maximum number of users we want to allocate. Let's just use 200 per department, okay? All right. Okay. Then the most important thing, because this is a wireless network, we have to indicate that the wireless LAN controller is involved. So you have to include the address of wireless LAN controller, okay? Which is very, very important. So let me just comment here. So that guy is having that IP address and the wireless LAN controller. The wireless LAN controller will be, I repeat, the wireless LAN controller IP address will be under management VLAN. I repeat, the wireless LAN controller will will be under management VLAN, okay? All right. So I want it to be have, having a address of maybe dot fifty dot fifty. I mean fifty dot five, okay? That's okay. All right. Good. So, so the wireless LAN controller plus all these APs, they will be under um, management villain okay all right so let's proceed so we just paste that on there oops sorry 
just wanted to paste it here. It's 50.5, 50.5. The IP address of the wireless uh, controller. So after you've modified and confirmed that everything is okay, then you add, you don't save, you just add, okay? All right. Then you come again and uh, modify for HR. You just do the same. HR was 20 here. So you just change to two, 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 two. Everything remains the same, okay? This remains the same, select mask remains the same, DNA server remains the same. So whatever you change is only the gateway and the start IP address. Make, make it to a, a, a reasonable range, okay? And you add. So I do the rest very, very fast. And finally we do management, MGT. Management is of 50. Yes, so just add. All right, that's all about the DSCP server configuration and everything looks fine. All right, so it's the time. Now we go to this guy and configure it. We have set up the environment as required. So it's the time that we tell this guy that we want it to control our network. So for that one, I need a PC and put it here. And we just connect it to this guy here. Yep, you just connect that guy there. All right, so what I do, the first thing, you configure it with IP address. Its IP address should be this one, all right? So I copy that IP address, click on it, come to config, and under management, paste that IP address there. Then, our solid mask is 255.255.255.0. Before gateway, you know very well, it's a 50.1, 50.1, the VLAN sub interface. And uh, our DNS server, we said that it means our DCP server. So it's 1.5, okay? All right, good. So we're done with that one. We've configured a peer test to this wireless LAN controller. And it should have the management VLAN, I mean the management, it should be under management network, okay? All right, so let's configure this PC so that we can obtain the WLC interface from this PC. So just go to that PC, IP configuration, and paste that one, and let's make it dot six, being that uh, the other one is dot five, okay? IP uh, default gateway is dot one, right? So let's test it, if it can ping, the wireless LAN controller ping the wireless LAN controller is that one yep so when it pings just close it we don't waste time just come to a browser and um, we actually access the wireless LAN controller bra uh, interface on our browser just paste that one there so just click on go so in this scenario, you'll have to wait because this is a wireless LAN controller on a packet tracer. You have to be very patient. It will come eventually, but it will take like 30 seconds. So you just, you just have to wait. 30 seconds to one minute. Okay, so here it comes. When it comes, you just need to enter. You need to create an account. Create a username, maybe admin. Okay, password of Cisco at one two three just write your own password mine and always use cisco at one two three and start all right so when you log in when you have created an account you will come up with this uh um uh, setup uh, uh a window so system name let's say we want to call our uh, uh wireless LAN controller as gtech gtech uh gtech wireless LAN controller right and then you come under management IP address, you know very well, it's the same IP address that you see here. Okay. All right. Then subject mask class C, class C dot zero. The default gateway, you know very well, 50.1. Okay. Management VLAN, very important. Very important. It's 50. Our management VLAN is 50. Very important. Okay. So you have to ensure that your management VLAN is VLAN 50 or else 
you won't achieve the desirable results. This is a very important video. I plead with you wherever you are watching from, ensure you subscribe to our channel. I did a lot of research to come up with this, this uh, content and I would like to present it in a way that everyone understands. Okay? Just click next. Yep. Thank you all. Then, um, and where is where we now we create Wi-Fi names. So in under this scenario, we're just going to create a test one that we're going to delete later. Okay, just say test, test at one, two, three, four. Okay, and I copy that one. I copy and I paste there. We're going to delete it, so it won't matter for us because we're we're going to delete it. Click next. Leave this one the way it is. Click next and confirm if everything is okay the way you you want. Okay, this is a very important part. This is a very important part. Okay, and just click apply and apply. All right. So after that one, just close that one. You don't you don't need to wait it. So as you know. This WLC is now in VLAN 50. But this guy now, it doesn't have any VLAN, meaning it cannot reach this guy. You remember very well, we allocated a management VLAN to this w, WLC. So this guy cannot reach it because this guy is not, is not associated with any VLAN. So what we do, we just remove this that cable there. We come to this switch and we plug into any any port. In that case, we've done port FA0 slash yeah, 7. Okay. Alright. So we have to make this guy to be in the same VLAN with this guy here. Okay. So this is VLAN. I mean this is FA0 slash 7. So just go to that switch, then come to config for quick quick configuration. Just click on F0 slash 7, right? Then under VLAN, click on VLAN and choose VLAN 50 management. So this guy here now, this guy now here is in the same VLAN with this guy here. So they can communicate. So let's just wait until this this one turns um, um, green, then we try to ping. So for that case, just do this. I just do extended ping. Yep, so I'll just include T here to do an extended ping. So we will wait until it pings. Yeah, so you can see when I put my cursor over that switch, you can see FS Rooster 7, it's up VLAN 50, right? Okay, so let's just see. Good, good, good. So you can see it's now communicating to the other guy because the other guy is VLAN 50. Good, 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 good. So just cancel there. Then we go back to our normal web browser. And we access uh, the, the wireless LAN controller from this browser. It's, uh, it was uh, 192.168. Uh, it's uh, 50.5. Yeah. Then you hit enter. You receive this, this error here, meaning you have to add S. Just make it HTTPS and hit enter. Now, let's log in. The password, I mean, it was admin and password was Cisco at 123. And we just log in and give it time to load. And now we begin configuration. Good. So here is the, here is our actually, our, on the interface of the wireless LAN controller. The first thing that you can do, which is very, very important, you come and check under wireless. You see if there's any AP that is associated with the wireless LAN controller and you see everything is blank. Okay? So what you do is very important. You go to every AP, just click every AP, and drag the power supply and put it there. And then we go to controller. So this is where we are going to do a lot of work. Under the controller tab, click on the controller first. Okay. 
So this is where we are going to do a lot of tasks. So when you reach under controller, when you reach under controller, we are going to do what's called interfaces. For VLAN 10, VLAN 20, 30, and 50. So just click on the interface there. So you can see the first interface was created while we were creating, when we were setting up the wireless LAN controller, okay? The initial setup, which is the management. For VLAN, for virtual, it also created there, okay? So we were, this one that we, we included uh, actually a VLAN ID, and you can remember. So we're going to create a new one. We're going to create four of them, okay? For VLAN 10, 20, 30, and 50. So just click on create there, okay? And there, so interface name. Let's just say VLAN 10. VLAN 10, VLAN ID is 10. And we just apply. Okay, very important. Yep. So when you reach here, the most important thing here, actually, the most important thing here is to is to check on the following things that I'm going to tell you. Be very careful because if you miss here, you are going to comment down that uh, your AP is not working. The most important thing here, ensure, you see this port number. Confirm it on the wireless LAN controller side. Which port is connected, which this port? Which port is this one? Is the first port so oh, sorry so you check the port that connects to the switch from the wireless LAN controller and you put it there you see it this port so you just put your cursor there and you see it's gig zero one so it's port one if you miss that one it won't work so just ensure it's port one there okay the port that connects to your LAN is this port, okay? Okay, so after uh, indicating that it's port 1, now you come under interface address. So under interface address, we also have to key, uh, allocate IP address to a sub-interface, uh, to a VLAN interface on the wireless LAN controller. The same way, we are located IP address to a sub-interface of the router. So you can see for sub interface that represent VLAN 10, it was given 192.168.10.1. So in this case, we can give it any IP address. Let's assume uh, we give it maybe uh, 10. Um, what what should we give? Maybe 10.2. Yes, 10. The second IP address, or the third, or the fifth, or the sixth, as long as it's not been occupied. So in this case, let me just give it dot, uh, dot seven, okay, All right? Then the net mask is dot five, I mean 255 class C. And the default gateway you know very well is 10.1. Default gateway remains on the route, okay? Okay. All right, that's very important. So you have to ensure that it's port one that connects to our, to our switch, this one, okay? You have to indicate, okay? Then you have to assign that interface uh, IP address, okay? And that IP address should not be, uh, it should not be already given to another host. It should be free, okay? All right. Then finally, finally, which is very important, you have to tell that interface that our DSCP server is this guy. You have to tell this RLAN controller that the DCP server is this guy. So you just include the IP address of the DCP server there. It was uh, 1.5. All right. Okay. So I just confirm if everything is okay. Port 1 is okay. Interface IP address is okay. The DCP server IP address is okay. And apply. Give it time to load 
and we move on to the next one okay all right all right so this uh, this one has been saved this one has been saved so what i'm gonna do i'm going to create a uh, formula 20 but for plan 30 and 50 i'm going to do it very very fast to save them okay so we just go back just go back there so you see it's here villain 10 is here all right so we just create a new one uh, which is villain 20 another interface okay so we just do it very very fast villain 20 uh that villain is 20 then you apply then uh, and we go we proceed to the settings so when you reach here it was always port one it's the port one that connects us to our switch then IP address, very important. IP address, you can make it 20.7 because it's VLAN 20. Don't mix up things. So 255.255.255.0. Gateway 20.1. Don't mix up. Dot one. Okay. And our DCP server, you know very well the other guy, which is 1.5. And now everything just in order. Just need to could do from there to here and ensure that if it's VLAN 20, the correct subnet, the port that connects you to the switch, the DSCP server remains the same and apply. So I do the, the remaining one very, very fast to save time. Okay, so guys, basically, I was trying to create for VLAN 50 and I encountered error because it was already created here. <laughs> so I forgot that it was already created. So you only create for VLAN 10, 20, and 30. VLAN 50 was already created here. You see it here, okay? All right, so we're done with creating uh, the interfaces on the wireless LAN controller. So what we do, we go back to VLANs, which is the final point. And the most important point point so we said that while creating while setting up uh, this world as a controller the first time we created a test wi-fi name so what we do we just remove it so after removing it we create a new one so we just click on go here okay create a new one this is a very big lab that needs uh, us to be very keen yeah so we want how many Wi-Fi names? IT, HR, Finance, and Management. So I just come there. I'll just say this is uh, IT. Okay. And uh, this guy to be IT Wi-Fi. The profile name to be IT Wi-Fi. Okay. And this is D to be IT, just IT. The one that you see on your phone or the laptop to be IT, but the profile name to be it if it was fine okay id just leave it the way it's auto generated so it has nothing to do uh, with our configuration yeah just click apply so uh, yep yeah. so when you click apply it brings you here so what you do just click enabled okay all right then the most important Remember, this is IT. IT is in which department? I mean, is in which uh, VLAN? VLAN 10. So, under interfaces, you click on interfaces and you select VLAN 10. Very important and very interesting. Then you come to security. This is where you set up your password. You choose on this one, WPA, WPA2, okay? Then ensure you tick WPA2 policy. All right, so after that one, PSK. PSK is where uh, appreciate key. So that's our password where we write our password. Let's say, let's just assume we write our password as Cisco. Cisco at one, two, three. Or I just write it somewhere and paste it. Yeah, Cisco at one, two, three, no problem. Good. Then the most, uh, also the other important part, we are not done yet. We just uh, indicated our password here. So we now have to come to under advanced, see, then you scroll down 
ensure you scroll down and tick on this press connect lock call okay uh do we really need to take this one also press connect lock call out should i can i remember that flex connect local out okay just ensure you take it yep so take the two and save ensure you take flex connect local switching and local authentication okay but then to click okay then you go ahead to create another VLAN by the name HR Wi-Fi. So I will do, okay, now it's saved. Ensure you save again here. Okay, then you go back now. So when you go back, you can see a Willan ID is that, that one, type this one, proper name that one, uh, it's this one and this one and this one, okay? So just create a new one. So let me explain the second one, then the third one and the fourth one. Do it very, very fast every time. So this is HR, HR Wi-Fi, SSID to be HR, okay? Then click apply, then show you enable then choose the right choose the right one vlan 20. so for management wi-fi we are going to choose management uh, interface okay but being that this is hr hr belong to vlan 20 we choose vlan 20 okay come to security and uh, wpa that one then peer to policy uh appreciate the key i want the key to be cisco at one two three uh cisco at one two three yep then we're not done yet let's come to advance and enable the flex connect okay enable the two if it doesn't work i'll come and disable the second one okay i don't remember the second one clearly but uh you can do more research i believe it works click apply we save and i proceed to 30 and 50 very very fast save time Remember for VLAN 50, we are going to select um, management interface, okay? So for VLAN 50, we are going to select this one, okay? All right. So, okay. So as you can see, we have created all the required VLANs. So what's meaning is just to go on the access points and see whether they are actually synchronizing. And before I do that, I forgot to mention something. Let's go back to controller. Uh, then go back to interfaces. Then VLAN, the management VLAN. I needed to go inside here and do some configuration. Remember, we also have a VLAN, uh, a DSP server that provides IP address to management villain so you have to specify it uh, you have to specify that here just click on it and give it time to load here yeah. so it's in port one that's okay uh then one, this one is stick is stick by default because it's the management one then we have to specify the pdf for this server here it's a big lab actually that's why i, I wanted uh, uh, all of us to be very uh, to be patient yeah and it's here so guys, we are done with the wireless LAN controller configuration. So what you can do, just save the configuration. Before you save the configuration, ensure you save the packet tracer. Because sometimes when you try to save uh, the wireless LAN controller configuration, it hangs and uh, the system closes the packet tracer unexpectedly. So you might lose your work. So ensure you save the packet tracer first, then, now save on the wireless LAN controller configuration. Yep, so that's saved. So there's no problem. So what we do, we go to each access point. Okay? Just go to each access point. 
Okay, so change it to DCP. You see, it's picking. It's picking. Let's go to where is gigabit is on it. Yeah, you see, it's picking the management villain. Okay, very good. So we go to uh, config, then you go to DCP, and you see, it's picking the management, the management uh, IP address. Okay, good. So let's do that here. Also, this guy here, meaning our DCP server is working perfectly. Good. All right. So, being that this was a trunk that was uh, actually associated with the native villain, the native villain was actually our management uh, villain. So, these guys here are being associated with the management villain or the native villain. Okay. All right. So, even if you try to hover, you can see all the um, all the villains have already been provided. So if you try to connect, let's just go to this uh, 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 tablet there. Then, oops, that's just a minute. Just go to, uh, where is it? Yeah, I just go to config here. Then to wireless. And uh, I need to make it IT. IT. Then WPSK, which is a password to make it. It's Cisco. Cisco at one, two, three. That's my password. So you can... You can write yours. Then I uh, just come to desktop and make this one to be DCP and leave it there. So you see, it's already connected to this one. And if I try to over hover this PC, you will see it has IP address of 10. So let's try. See, 1 and 2, 10. Very important. So let's go to this PC here. And connect it and we'll see. I'll do the rest very very fast. Good. So let's see this one. It will pick 20.11. And this guy here, it will 30 dot something. This one should pick 40 dot something. 50 dot something. You see? So guys, basically, I think uh, this was a very important class. And what I've just shown you here. It was it's what we've been doing in the real world. When we maybe we're being called as contractors to do wireless networks, this is what we do. So I've given you a knowledge that is very hard to find. This is a very important class. And uh, moving forward, any project that we're going to do, we're going to employ this method of wireless LAN controller configuration. It's a very and rare uh skills that you will find on youtube but i dedicated my time i did my research i tested a lot of labs for me to reach to a, uh, a solution i did a lot of labs it was not working i try again it was not working until i achieved it so it's in the ball is now on your coat proceed it share with others and develop on yourself i wish you all the best and please subscribe to this channel share with friends like this video and in case you have any doubt any question please please write on the comment section of this video bye and see you again in the next class thank you all